MIT researchers just discovered that seven minutes of a specific breathing pattern triggers the same cellular cleanup your brain gets from a three-day water fast. In the next 12 minutes, I'll show you the autophagy breath that Tibetan monks use to maintain razor-sharp cognition into their 90s. And neuroscientists finally understand why it works at the molecular level. Most people believe fasting is purely about food restriction. But the 2016 Nobel Prize research revealed the real mechanism. It's about activating autophagy, your cell's self-cleaning system. What's been hidden is that your breath controls the exact same metabolic switches as fasting. And this changes everything. You felt it. The afternoon brain fog, the sluggish thinking, the sense your mind isn't as sharp as it used to be. You've tried intermittent fasting, keto, nootropics. But Harvard researchers found something shocking. You can trigger autophagy in your brain without changing what you eat, just by changing how you breathe. What I'm about to share comes from 2,000-year-old Tibetan Tumo breathing that modern longevity science validated in 2023. This isn't meditation. This isn't hyperventilation. This is a precise breath pattern that flips your cellular metabolism from growth mode to cleanup mode in seven minutes. The cellular aging epidemic is silent, but the effects are not. By age 40, your brain's natural autophagy efficiency has already dropped by 50%. You're accumulating cellular junk faster than you can clear it. Misfolded proteins, damaged mitochondria, oxidized lipids. They're like toxic waste clogging your neurons. This is the metabolic trap of modern life. Constant eating, chronic stress, and shallow breathing keep your cells locked in MTOR dominant growth mode. The cleanup crew, the autophagy process, never gets called in. The brain-specific consequences are what you experience as cognitive decline, memory glitches, stubborn brain fog, and that underlying fear of neurodegenerative disease down the road. You've likely tried traditional fasting, the hunger pangs, the lifestyle disruption, the metabolic adaptation that makes it a constant battle. Compliance is the enemy of consistency. Here's what longevity researchers missed until 2021. What if you don't need to stop eating to trigger autophagy? What if you just need to change your oxygen-carbon dioxide ratio? In the frozen Himalayas of the 11th century, Tibetan monks developed a practice called Tumo, the inner fire breath. Their ancient texts speak of burning away impurities from within. We now have the translation. They were describing autophagy activation. These monks maintained cognitive sharpness and physical vitality into extreme old age, and they did it not through diet, but through breath. The bridge to modern validation is where this gets undeniable. The 2016 Nobel Prize in Physiology went to Yoshinori Osumi for mapping the very mechanism of autophagy. Cellular self-eating for renewal. Then, in 2019, a Netherlands study on the Wim Hof method proved controlled breathing could activate the AMPK pathway, the master metabolic switch that triggers autophagy. And in 2023, Stanford research sealed it. Controlled hypoxia from specific breath retention mimics the metabolic signature of fasting. Elevated ketones, activated autophagy genes, suppressed MTOR. The mechanism is elegant. Breath-induced CO2 tolerance combined with intermittent hypoxia signals a controlled cellular stress. Your cells interpret this as a nutrient scarcity event. This flips the metabolic switch from MTOR-driven growth to AMPK-driven cleanup. Your body initiates its cellular renewal protocols. The monks didn't know about mTOR or AMPK, but they discovered something longevity scientists only proved three years ago. Your breath controls your cellular age more than your diet does. This is the autophagy breath, a seven-minute cellular fast. Phase 1. Metabolic Priming. Minutes 1 to 2. Sit with your spine straight. 
This isn't about posture for posture's sake. It optimizes vagal tone for the essential parasympathetic shift. Take a moment to notice your baseline breathing. Most people are chronic over-breathers, keeping their cells perpetually in growth mode. I want you to introduce the concept of air hunger. Exhale fully and hold for a comfortable count. Notice the urge to breathe. That sensation is your metabolic flexibility baseline. It's the key. Phase two, the 5-5-10 autophagy cycle, minutes three to six. Now, we begin the core pattern. Inhale slowly through your nose for a count of five. Make it a deep, diaphragmatic breath, filling your lungs completely. Hold that breath in for a count of five. This is where the magic happens. CO2 rises, which actually improves oxygen delivery to your tissues via the Bohr effect. Your cells begin to sense the metabolic shift. Now, exhale slowly through your nose for a count of 10. Make it controlled, making sure you empty your lungs completely. This extended exhale maximizes CO2 retention and is the primary trigger for ampeic activation. Here's the science. That extended exhale combined with breath retention creates a state of transient, controlled hypoxia. Your cells interpret this exactly as they would a fasting state. This activates the core autophagy genes, ULK1, ATG7, BECN1. The 5 to 5 to 10 ratio creates the optimal CO2 tolerance training while maintaining absolute safety and it pushes your nervous system into parasympathetic dominance. Repeat this cycle 10 to 12 times. This will take approximately three to four minutes. Phase three, the ketone spike protocol, minute seven. After your final 10 count exhale, instead of inhaling, you will hold your breath out. Hold it for your maximum comfortable duration, aiming for 30 to 60 seconds. This is the most potent trigger. The science is clear. Breath retention after a full exhale most powerfully mimics the fasted state. Studies show blood ketones can rise within minutes. MTOR is suppressed and autophagy genes fire up. You will feel air hunger, perhaps slight discomfort and often a wave of warmth. This is the signal of the metabolic shift. When you need to breathe, Inhale slowly and controlled. Do not gasp. Repeat this extended retention cycle two to three times. Critical coaching points. Never force to the point of sharp pain or panic. Build CO2 tolerance gradually. Slight tingling or warmth is normal. It's the metabolic shift, not hyperventilation. For maximum autophagy activation, do this fasted ideally in the morning, or at least three hours after eating. If you are pregnant, have epilepsy, severe cardiovascular conditions, or a panic disorder, this technique is not for you. Remember, the air hunger sensation is the goal. It signals metabolic switching, not oxygen deprivation. If you feel lightheaded, you're breathing too fast. Slow the pace and focus on extending the exhale. The effects are not subtle. Within five to 10 minutes, you'll notice mental clarity as ketones cross the blood-brain barrier. You'll feel a subtle energy shift, not the jittery kind, but a clean, alert clarity from improved mitochondrial efficiency. Hunger signals often reduce due to ghrelin suppression from AMPK activation, and you'll likely feel a slight body warmth, thermogenesis from the metabolic switch. But the real transformation comes from the 21-day cellular reset protocol. Do this technique once daily, preferably in a fasted state. This amplifies autophagy by three to four times. In week one, your cells begin recognizing the fasting signal and your autophagy genes upregulate. By week two, mitochondrial biogenesis accelerates and your brain fog will show noticeable improvement. By week three, you achieve sustained autophagy activation. Studies show this is the minimum time for metabolic adaptation, 
leading to a 15 to 20% measurable increase in autophagy efficiency. The long-term benefits backed by research are profound. Cognitive enhancement, improved memory consolidation and processing speed as autophagy clears out neuronal debris. Neuroprotection, reduced markers for Alzheimer's and Parkinson's risk through the clearance of damaged proteins. Metabolic flexibility, fasting becomes easier, energy stabilizes, cravings diminish. Cellular age reversal. Consistent autophagy activation has been shown to improve biological age markers. You are activating the same longevity pathways as caloric restriction, which in animal models translates to a 30% lifespan extension. Here's what I didn't tell you at the beginning. This technique doesn't just clean your cells. When Japanese researchers studied Tibetan monks doing this breathing, they found something extraordinary. Autophagy doesn't just remove damaged proteins, it selectively preserves and strengthens the neural pathways associated with intention and focus. Your brain literally becomes what you concentrate on during cellular cleanup. The monks used this during manifestation practices. They understood. When your cells are in renewal mode, your consciousness has maximum plasticity. Science calls it neuroplasticity during metabolic switching. The ancients called it fasting the mind into new reality. Same mechanism, different language. You're not just cleaning your brain, you're rewiring which thoughts survive the cleanup. You now have a 2,000-year-old technique validated by Nobel Prize-winning science. Seven minutes, no fasting required, no supplements, just you, your breath, and your cellular intelligence. Do this once tomorrow morning on an empty stomach. Notice the clarity. Then do it for 21 days and watch your brain fog vanish. Your mental sharpness return and your biological age start moving backward. Autophagy isn't a theory. It's your cell's built-in renewal system. And you just learned how to activate it with breath. The monks were right. The science proves it. Now go use it.